Three critical pieces of equipment made it to Beulah, North Dakota in early December. Therefore, the facility that will produce urea fertilizer at the Great Plains Sinfields plant. You have the pool reactor, the high pressure stripper, and the high pressure scrubber, and it's kind of the, the heart of the urea plant. Each of the vessels weighs hundreds of thousands of pounds. They were built by Stammy Carbon in Turnitz, Austria and traveled thousands of miles to get to this point. The very compressed timeline has been probably the most challenging as far as getting your equipment delivered and on site and on time. Nathan Johnson did an amazing job with lining all that up with our third party logistics company. Basically from the manufacturer facility, they moved down the Danube River, which at the time was at a 100 year low, so that was a huge obstacle for us. Um, Stammy Carbon was able to secure an entire um, barge just for our equipment. Uh, that way it didn't sit so low with uh, the low water levels. Um, from there went to uh, the port of Antwerp where it was uh, unloaded from the barge onto the actual vessel itself. Uh, from the port of Antwerp they went to Houston which was about a 23 day transit time. Uh, port of Houston they unloaded it within uh, 24 hours of it actually being there, staged them uh, on temporary rail cars, and then uh, that's where myself, Sarah Edinger, went down to Houston, Texas, and uh, uh, met up with the vessels, watched them secured, uh, loaded onto rail cars. Uh, we did the rail clearance uh, prior to then uh, with the BNSF as far as from Houston all the way to Beulah, North Dakota. The vessels will be ready for operation in time for the plant's projected startup in spring 2017. Uh, Stammy Carbon, which is our licensor for the project, they're going to be coming out during the commissioning startup phase and they'll actually be going through the vessels and making sure that the internals are okay and everything before we actually start the unit up. We'll be in charge of the commissioning of the unit itself when it's up and getting close to being running. We'll go through all the lines, blow them out, clean them out. E and I will do check rotations on motor. Once everything's passed and turned over to operations, then we can start the process side of it. From Austria to Texas and finally to Beulah, it took a team effort to move the vessels in a safe and timely manner. There's a lot of working parts. It's definitely a team effort, and I think that's that's kind of the, the general logistics altogether. It takes a lot of people just to move one piece. It's not something that just shows up at your doorstep. It'll be a very large milestone and I'm ready to start the unit up and get going. <laughs> From the Great Plains Sinfields plant with producer Greg Desay, I'm Chris Gessley.